toma de su fruto. I used to admire you. I wanted nothing but to be with you and to be like you. I admired you for your strength, for your wisdom, for your compassion. I felt your callous hand full of strength, full of power, but I wanted nothing of it. What good was it to you, I asked, if it only made you vulnerable? It made you vulnerable to the greed of the rich white man who shackled your hands to the earth and exposed your bare back to the fury of the Arizona sun. It made you a slave. Go in. Yeah. I admired you for your wisdom. You let me venture into your mind where I found ingenious ideas, thoughts worthy of the king's wise men. But immediately I wished I had not heard them. I wished I had not heard them because they stabbed at my chest every time as I realized you don't belong here. You don't belong in this world of poverty, in this world of struggles, in this world where your only virtue was your work ethic in the fields. I don't want your wisdom. I don't want your brilliant ideas, if they will only be buried and hidden in the very earth that you tilled. I listened to your words, full of love and compassion, but all I heard was foolish hope. The drumming of your heart and the joyful song of your soul left me baffled. Where is the hate? Where is the rancor, I asked. I asked again and again, until one day I heard your whisper. It came swirling with the warm spring breeze, rustling the leaves of the trees in my backyard, it said. I buried my thoughts into the fertilized earth because I knew they would grow into strong trees. I knew that you would be willing to pick from their fruits in the summer, and I knew they would bring you great satisfaction. I noticed your tan skin is now wrinkled, your strong back is now slightly hunched. We, as we sit under the fruit tree, our usual spot. I pierced the red skin of an apple and wiped the sweet juice from my chin, and you began to whisper again. You said, you will go off, far from the grounds I tilled, far from the trees I planted and watered and grew, but always remember that part of you also ran your fingers through the moist earth, that part of you was also sunbathed, that part of you was also whipped and chained, but you were never, ever a slave. Well, if we know we're not slaves, then why do we continue to act as if we were? I'll tell you why. Because for so long we've been listening to the wrong whispers, the ones that with every word you pour, ugly Mexican, they've made us believe that our hands are to be shackled, that our backs are to be hunched. Well, now I'm here for you to listen to my whisper. Toma de su fruto. Toma de su fruto, because our abuelos, our abuelas, our mothers and our fathers have had their thoughts, their hopes, their pleas buried in the earth for far too long. The seeds that they sowed have long since germinated and sprouted and grown. And now it's our turn to unshackle our hands, to straighten, to strengthen our backs. Solo extiende tus manos hacia el cielo y toma de su fruto. Yeah!